going to take a look at intervals now. And intervals in the sense of the relationship of one note to a note above it or below it. For right now, we'll talk about moving up just to keep things consistent. And of course, we know, for example, we have the notes C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. And then we have our black keys, which based on the rule of enharmonics could be, this could be C sharp or D flat. D sharp or E flat and so on. If that's a little unclear to you, go back and look at our enharmonics video to clarify the difference between a C sharp and a D flat, a D sharp and an E flat. So now we know going C to D is a whole step and we would call that a second. In fact, we call that a major second. What would a minor second be? That's a minor second. So C to C sharp or C to D flat is a minor second. C to D is a major second. C to E flat is a minor third. C to E natural is a major third. Notice that each of these intervals has a unique sound to it. Now if we get to C to F, before you start thinking, ooh, is that a minor fourth or a major fourth? Nah, it doesn't get that simple. C to F is called a perfect fourth. Kind of sounds like, here comes the bride. Now, then we have C to G. C, G, C, a song that might remind you of that interval relationship is what they call March of the Winkies from Wizard of Oz. Now, if you say, Mr. Siegel, you showed us a perfect fourth and a perfect fifth, but what about this guy, the F sharp? That actually is called a tritone. And the reason it's called a tritone is because it literally separates the octave, C to C. It is right in the middle between the low C and the upper C. So that's called a tritone, one of our more dissonant sounds. So perfect fourth, tritone, perfect fifth. Now we go back to our major minor. C to A flat, minor sixth. C to A natural, major sixth. C to B flat, that is a minor seventh. And C to B natural is a major seventh. Of course, C to C. is an octave or an eighth. So all of these intervals, of course, we could do them going down. We could, we could go from C and do a minor second, major second, and so forth in the downward. And of course, any interval is established by playing any note. There's an A, and if I go up to D, that's a fourth. A to D, C to F is a fourth. B flat to E flat is a fourth. So intervals are about the half step, whole step combinations that create these pitch relationships or pitch intervals between two different notes.